Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering the IELTS exam and boosting your English skills. In today's video, we're covering some essential spelling tips to help you ace the IELTS listening test. Spelling might seem like a small detail, but it can make or break your score. So let's dive into some strategies to ensure you don't lose valuable points due to spelling mistakes. No commonly misspelled words. There are certain words that come up often in the IELTS listening test, and many candidates misspell them. Some tricky words include accommodation, necessary, environment, government, development. These are just a few examples, but practicing spelling common words beforehand can save you from making avoidable errors. Create a list of words that are commonly used and make sure you know how to spell them correctly. British versus American spelling. IELTS primarily uses British English. However, they do accept both British and American spelling as long as you're consistent throughout the test. Some common differences include British color organized center, American color organized center. Make sure you're comfortable with both versions and pick one to stick to throughout your writing and listening. Double letters. One of the most common spelling errors is with words that have double letters like address, committee, occurrence, success. Always be on the lookout for words with double letters and make sure you don't leave one out or add an extra one where it's not needed. Example, imagine you hear the speaker say accommodation. It's easy to drop one of the M, S, or C, U, S, but that could cost you points. So stay sharp when listening for such words. Listen for plurals. When you're writing down answers, be sure to catch whether the word is singular or plural. Plural forms can trip up many candidates in the IELTS listening test. For example, if you write student instead of students, it will be marked wrong, even if you heard the word correctly. Pro tip, always double check if the answer should end with an S, especially if it's talking about multiple items or people. Pay attention to word endings. Sometimes, the difference between the correct answer and a wrong one can be as simple as the ending of a word. Pay special attention to verb tenses, past or present, and adjectives, comparative forms. Example, the speaker might say, the tour was very interesting. If you write interest instead of interesting, it will be incorrect. Practice typing and writing under time pressure. While most IELTS tests are now computer-based, it's still important to practice writing and typing with good speed and accuracy. In the listening test, you only have a short time to write down your answers, so practice is key. Pro tip, get used to listening and writing at the same time to train your brain to do both tasks efficiently. Check your answers carefully. At the end of the listening section, you'll have some time to review your answers. Use this time to double check your spellings. Even if you heard everything correctly, a single misspelled word can cost you points. Common prefixes and suffixes. Be aware of common prefixes and suffixes, as they can help you predict the structure of words and avoid errors. Words like unnecessary, disappointment, and refreshment are commonly used in the test, and knowing how to spell these with their prefixes slash suffixes intact is important. Spelling is a key component in the IELTS listening test, and by mastering the tips we covered today, you'll be well on your way to avoiding common mistakes. Remember to familiarize yourself with commonly misspelled words, pay attention to plurals, and always check your work. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to Explified for more IELTS tips and tricks. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and see you next time.